Mercy, Ms. Susanna Malcora, Minister. The right to life is fundamental. Taking a life is too irre irreversible uh, for one human being to inflict on another. It is the ultimate denial of humanity, and the death penalty is not applied fairly. It is used disproportionately against minorities. The odds are stacked against the people who are poor and disenfranchised. They cannot obtain effective legal <coughs> representation. And that means they more often sentenced to, to death. Anyone should see this is wrong. It is a travesty that many innocent people are put to death every year. Thank you, Mr. Minister, for your advocacy. I remain convinced that there is no place for the death penalty in the 21st century. I urge the world leaders, legislators, and justice officials to stop executions now with a view to abolishing the death penalty. When we achieve universal abolition, we will realize a more just, peaceful, and humane world. So long as we're human, we will never be mistake-free. And I think even the distinguished permanent uh, or distinguished foreign minister of Singapore will agree that uh, the Singaporean judiciary cannot be said to be completely 100% mistake-free. Uh, it would be an impossibility to make that argument. My father said to me, he said to me, the government felt it had no choice. It, the government felt it had no choice. He said the crime rates had gone up, the people, were, there was a pressure to, uh, to, to do this, and, and, uh, and he himself felt he had no other recourse. I think what we've heard from everyone here, not least these incredible panelists, is that you always have a choice. You always have a choice. And I think it is very clear that the interna international community is moving in the direction of the right choice. And <laughs>